Hi guys, Lemmy here and welcome back to another art video. Today we're going to be talking a bit about getting back into creating artwork after years of not producing anything. And I've met several adults in my lifetime that have seen me drawing in my sketchbook and then they walk over and begin to tell me the story about how they used to do art, but they don't do it anymore. And the follow-up to that statement has always been in each situation, because they haven't done it in so long, if they were to try now, the quality of their artwork would be worse. Essentially, they can't or won't draw anything, and that art is now a pastime of theirs that is no longer available for them to participate in. And I totally get it. I mean, I honestly, I really, I really do. When you get older, there are so many additional responsibilities, you know, with bills, children, relationships, appointments, all of these things. And having free time to spend on personal passions quickly depletes the more life situations that surface and you have to deal with. Then you get like so super tired that all you want to do is kind of watch TV or something relaxing, something that you don't have to kind of be present to partake in or enjoy. However, the reason for not doing art should never be that you haven't in a while and that you won't be good at it. Whether you are resuming doing art or just starting for the first time, don't defeat yourself before you begin. I mean, really think about it. Who is amazing when they first begin a craft or a sport? Everything takes time. The world wasn't built in a day. Not every picture you create can or should or will be a masterpiece. There is also really no pressure to perform or be good at it. You should just enjoy yourself. You don't even have to share your work with anyone else. Art can be super therapeutic, so don't be hard on yourself. Don't turn it into a negative experience. Just enjoy it. What about resuming art after many years and how the quality of your artwork has gotten worse with time? Well, I think you may not be giving yourself enough credit. There are plenty of situations where being rusty is an excuse not to try again. But I have a story for that. When I was younger, there was a while where I didn't do art for about a year or so. I was going to school and I was really into MMOs at the time and I just really didn't feel like drawing. And after about a year, I began to draw again. And strangely enough, I felt like I improved even though I had not drawn during that time. Strange, right? I chalk my improvement up to my eyes maturing. And yeah, that requires a bit of an explanation. I know it sounds really weird, you know, mature eyeballs, right? But I think that part of art is not just the creation process, but the ability to see things. To see what colors make up an item that you're drawing. To see the form of the object and how objects relate to one another. You know, the ability to see flaws in your artwork and be able to change and manipulate the subject to be more accurate. I think that as long as you are mindful of what you are drawing as well as what you are seeing, you can surprise yourself as to what you can create. So, I mean, I decided to talk about today's topic um, because I'm painting and I actually haven't painted with acrylics in 13 years <laughs> and I still can't believe it when I say it's been 13 years but it has and I feel so freaking old <laughs> but yeah I mean I was never good at acrylics when I was younger and while I have been doing art this whole time I still haven't used acrylics at all in so many years and I was really pleasantly surprised with what I was able to create. And of course, this has to do with the idea of when you improve as an artist with one medium, the skills and knowledge learned from those mediums transfer over into other mediums as well. 
But still, the idea of being pleasantly surprised by your own skill level is still there and very relatable and applicable to this topic. It's super important to me that everyone out there knows that you're never too old to start doing something or resume doing something you used to love. Whether it's going back to school, learning a second language, or learning how to draw or paint, you should pursue something that you like. All you need is an interest and use that interest as motivation to get out there and do it. So that's my spiel. On to today's questions. And I love asking you guys questions. I get like so many interesting and varied answers. So thanks so much to everyone who comments in my videos. I really, I really enjoy checking what you guys have to say. Even if I don't respond to all of them, I still read all my comments. So the main question for today is, are there any hobbies that you haven't participated in that you used to be super passionate about? Why did you stop those activities? And have you ever tried to rekindle your relationship with that activity? Have you succeeded or failed? And what challenges have you faced? Do you feel that your skills are far behind what they used to be since you restarted? And another main question is, is there any hobby that you would like to try, but you are afraid of failing so that you don't even start? And what hobby is that and why? I hope this video encouraged you guys to go out there and try something new. And if you're older and have an interest in art, I hope this video motivates you to go draw something. Life is too short, so live life to the fullest and pursue what you love. And with that, I'll talk to you guys again next week for another art video. Take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you guys real soon.